Autism Housing Pathways, Building Roads to Home, with support from the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for Autism. Logo of Autism Housing Pathways, a house with a puzzle piece ribbon. Learning about visual supports. Visual supports are anything you see that helps you know what to do or what to expect. People use visual supports every day. Here are some examples. Images of a stop sign, a disabled parking sign showing a stick figure using a wheelchair, a restroom sign showing a silhouette of a woman, a vertical line, and a silhouette of a man, a checklist, a calendar, and in and out boxes. What if it was hard for you to use or understand words? You might be confused and unhappy when people talk to you. A man is yelling at a woman through a megaphone at a woman who looks frustrated and unhappy. You might be frustrated because people didn't understand what you wanted. A young woman is frowning. A thought balloon over her head shows ice cream. Another young woman is offering her chips. Now imagine how important visual supports would be. The person who was frowning before is pointing to a picture of ice cream, and the other person is offering ice cream. Many people with autism use visual supports to help them ask for something, say how they feel, know what to expect, or know how to do something. Visual supports can help people with autism have choices, stay calm when things change, learn new skills, or become more independent. In this video, you'll meet Terry. He has very little spoken language and uses an eye touch and pictures to communicate. Photos of a young man, an eye touch, and a cardboard rectangle covered with photos that are attached to it with Velcro. There are many kinds of visual supports and they can be used for many reasons. Let's look at some examples. This is a choice board. A cardboard rectangle is covered with three strips of Velcro. Attached to the Velcro are seven small photos, each with a title. The photos are titled Mom and Dad's House, DVD, Football, Go for a Walk, Computer, Bread, and Swimming. Choice boards can help someone ask for something. A young man looks at a choice board. I want to play with a slinky. The young man points to a picture of a slinky on the choice board. What do you want to work for on the treadmill? Terry is looking at a page with pictures of food and activities stuck onto Velcro strips. He picks chips. chips. All right, we work for chips after the treadmill. Good job. Another way to ask for something is with a communication system. A communication system is a group of pictures or words. It can be in a notebook, a wallet, or on a machine. A finger points to a picture on a page in a notebook. A finger points to a picture on a page in a wallet. A finger points to a picture on the screen of a small black box. You might hear a communication system called AAC. That stands for Augmentative and Alternative Communication, but you don't need to remember what it stands for. A communication system is just like talking. It can be used to answer a question or tell someone how you feel. How many? Tom places a pencil in front of Terry. Terry selects Perfect. the number one from a display on an iPod. What's your name? Terry navigates the iPod. Terry uses his eye touch to answer a question. Good job, Terry. A first then board can tell someone what to expect. First computer, then go car. A piece of cardboard with a rectangle on it. The rectangle is divided in half by a line. On one side of the line is a photo of a computer, captioned computer. On the other side of the line is a photo of a minivan, captioned car. Terry, what do you want to work for? Terry picks a picture yeah. of pork rinds. Right. Terry puts yeah. it on a first then first board. We're going to do treats and keepsakes. 
Now we're gonna get pork rinds. Let's go to the kitchen. Good job. What have we done? Terry finishes his work up, and gets got? a bowl of pork, pork rinds. Sorry, you want to sit in your chair or beanbag? <laughs> chair. You did so good. Terry eats his pork rinds. A schedule can tell someone what to expect. Some schedules use words. A sheet of paper contains a list of words reading swimming, McDonald's, car, home. Some schedules use pictures. At the top of a piece of cardboard is a smaller piece of cardboard reading Saturday with a picture of a smiling face. Underneath that, five rectangles are drawn on the cardboard, one after the other. Each rectangle contains two pieces of Velcro, one on the left and one on the right. In the top rectangle, a piece of cardboard reading 7.30 with a picture of a clock face showing 7.30 is stuck on the left-hand piece of Velcro, and a piece of cardboard reading AM with a picture of a sunrise is stuck on the right-hand piece of Velcro. In the second rectangle, a piece of cardboard reading 10 o'clock with a picture of a clock face showing 10 o'clock is stuck on the left-hand piece of Velcro, and a piece of cardboard reading sledding with a picture of a boy on a sled is stuck on the right-hand piece of Velcro. In the third rectangle, a piece of cardboard reading one o'clock with a picture of a clock face showing one o'clock is stuck on the left-hand piece of Velcro. And a piece of cardboard reading Burger King with the Burger King logo on it is stuck on the right-hand piece of Velcro. In this schedule, pictures are moved to a column labeled All Done as each task is completed. A piece of cardboard is divided into two columns. At the top of the left-hand column is a picture of a schedule, captioned, Schedule. At the top of the right-hand column is a drawing of a person using sign language to sign, All Done, captioned, All Done. In each column there are four rectangles, each with a piece of Velcro. In the top right-hand rectangle is a photo of pancakes, captioned, Pancakes. In the second right-hand column is a drawing of a washing machine and some clothes, captioned, Laundry. In the third left-hand column is a photo of a skateboard, captioned, Skateboard. In the fourth left-hand column is a photo of musical instruments, captioned, Music. A picture of an arrow points to an item Velcroed onto a picture schedule. Terry pulls the item off the schedule and puts it away. He moves the arrow to the next item, lunch. Thank you, buddy. It's good lunch. Terry gets his lunch out. Good job. Yeah. That was awesome. We're all done. Terry pulls the completed item off the schedule and puts it away. He moves the arrow to the next item, treadmill. Yeah, treadmill. Let's wait real. It can be helpful to combine a schedule with a clock. A digital clock reads 149. Underneath it, a piece of paper reads 2 o'clock, Mom makes cake. A picture can be combined with a timer to help someone know how long he has to wait. A visual timer on an iPhone shows a red circle that turns white as time passes. The iPhone is resting on top of the handle of an oven door. Next to the iPhone, a picture of a loaf of bread is taped to the oven. When this timer is finished, it will be time for bread to come out of the oven. A sticker chart can also be combined with a picture to help someone know how long she has to wait. At the top of a piece of cardboard is a picture of a swimming pool with the label swimming. Underneath the picture there are 10 squares of Velcro stuck to the cardboard. Some of the squares have pictures of stars stuck to the Velcro. When this chart is completely full of stars, it will be time for swimming. A clipboard with a timer and 10 squares of Velcro on it is perched on the control panel of a treadmill. Terry is walking on the treadmill. There is now a reward sticker on the first square of Velcro.
The timer goes off. Terry puts a sticker on the second square of Velcro and starts the timer again. He keeps walking. When someone is waiting for something a long way in the future, a calendar is a big help. This calendar page was used when the Christmas tree was taken down in January. A calendar page for December has two handwritten notes on it. On December 14th, it reads, put up the Christmas tree. On December 25th, it reads, Christmas. A social story is another way to help someone know what to expect. It is very helpful when a schedule changes or something unexpected happens. This social story explains a change in routine. On Saturday, Daddy will pick up Terry. At the top of the page is the word Saturday with a picture of a smiling person. Below it is a picture of a young man standing outside a building. Below that is a picture of a middle-aged man driving a van. Daddy and Terry will go to New Hampshire. At the top of a page is a picture of the middle-aged man and the young man. Below them is a picture of the van. Below that is a picture of a living room. In New Hampshire, Terry will see Mommy and Grandmama and Granddaddy. At the top of a page is a picture of a middle-aged woman. Below it are pictures of an elderly woman and an elderly man. Below them is the picture of the living room. Social stories can be particularly important when something scary is happening, like a visit to a hospital. This page was very helpful when Terry broke his foot. Terry can lie on a table when the doctor takes a picture of his foot. At the top of the page is a picture of a foot with red lightning bolts around it to show pain. Next to the foot is a picture of an x-ray machine. Terry is lying on a table under the machine. A caption reads, Terry can lie on a table when the doctor takes a picture of his foot. Tom reads right. Terry a story. Read a story okay? yeah. The, yeah, why I'm, am I going to hospital? Yeah, so we're going to read about why Terry's going to the hospital. Sometimes... Brushing my teeth does not get them clean. They need to be clean. We gotta get our teeth clean. Yeah. Yeah. The dentist needs to clean my teeth. So you're gonna go to the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. The dentist will clean my teeth when I am asleep at the hospital. So when Terry's sleeping at the hospital, the dentist will clean your teeth. I will go to the hospital on May 27th. I can't eat or drink before I go to sleep at the hospital. Mom will be with me before I go to sleep and when I wake up at the hospital. Yeah, mom's gonna be there. My teeth might be out for one to two days. Terry and Tom point to the pictures in the story while Tom reads. Good job, Terry. Directions can help someone know how to do something. This microwave chart can help someone heat up her food. A chart rests against a microwave. At the top is a picture labeled microwave. Below that are five rectangles. Inside each rectangle is a picture of a food, 
a number, and a picture of a start button. For instance, to heat cake, push 30 and then start. These shelf labels help someone to know how to put away his laundry. A set of shelves is built into a closet. The top shelf has a sticker on the side with a picture of a t-shirt. T-shirts are stacked on that shelf. The second shelf has a sticker on the side with a picture of a long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirts are stacked on that shelf. This recipe for cookies is in a small photo album. A small photo album has a sticker on the cover with a picture of a chocolate chip cookie and the caption, cookie. An open page from the album shows the words, put in one egg. Each word has a photo or illustration above it, illustrating the word. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Where's the one teaspoon? There it is, but there's the baking powder. Terry uses a picture recipe. Need two of those. Terry measures out two teaspoons of baking powder. One. Two. Good job, T. Terry puts a check mark on the recipe with a marker. All done baking powder. Good job. Now we need to lift the bowl. Terry lifts the mixing bowl and turns on the mixer. To-do lists can be very helpful. A grocery list is an example of a to-do list. On one side of a piece of cardboard are pictures of things to buy. At the top of a piece of cardboard is a picture of a bag of groceries captioned grocery. Underneath it are three long strips of Velcro, pictures of different food items including cookies, bacon, and pasta sauce have been stuck on the Velcro. Each picture is moved to the other side when it is put in the shopping cart. An outline of a grocery cart has been drawn on the other side of the piece of cardboard. Within the outline are strips of Velcro. Pictures of different food items, including crackers, hamburgers, and soda, have been stuck on the Velcro. Terry has a cardboard strip clipped to his belt with pictures of food on it. Terry points to cucumber, and Terry and Ross go to look for cucumber. Terry gets a plastic bag. They find the cucumber, and Terry pulls the cucumber picture off the strip and puts it on the back of the strip. Then he puts the cucumber in the bag. An inbox is another example of a to-do list. It allows someone to see exactly how much work she needs to do. Each activity can be placed in a plastic bag in a box labeled work. A large cardboard box has a picture of a person working at a desk posted on its side. The picture is captioned work. Inside the box are two clear plastic zipper bags. In one is a set of dominoes and in another is a puzzle. When each activity is finished, it can be placed in a box labeled all done. A large cardboard box has a picture of a person signing the sign, all done. The picture is captioned, all done. Inside the box is a clear plastic zipper bag. Inside the bag is a picture book. Why do visual supports work so well? Because the information is there for as long as you need it, it doesn't disappear. 
That's why visual supports are important even for people who can talk and understand speech. What are some tips for using visual supports? Use pictures with little or no background. Extra details can be confusing. Which is a better picture of a cat? A black and white cat sits on the arm of an orange armchair looking out a window. Parts of a table, a laptop computer, and a framed picture are visible. The same cat is seen sitting in the grass. The picture has been cropped so that the cat's body fills almost the entire frame. Pictures with a heavy outline and bright colors are easier to understand. Which is a better picture of flowers? Abstract pastel shapes indicate flowers in a vase. Three white flowers are outlined in black. They have bright orange and yellow centers, and the stems are a bright green. Don't expect someone to understand a new visual support the first time he sees it. You'll have to train him to use it. Good. Kathy is teaching Terry basic meditation. First, they practice without pictures. Yeah, Mom's going to show you something new. Here we go. Oh, try it again. Kathy introduces a picture for each okay. hand movement. Sa Kathy points to each picture with one hand Good. and models Sa the movement with her other hand. Sa Sa Ta. Ta. Oh, try it again. Sa Sa Ta. Ta. Nice. Kathy rewards Terry with a snack. Sa Good. Sa Now Kathy nice. just points to the pictures. Sa Sa Way to go, bud. Teach a picture that means surprise. It's important for those times when something changes suddenly, like a store being closed or a road detour. Keep visual supports with you. You can't use them if they're not with you. Show me a list. No. What do you got on there? Mm. There we go. Good job, Kate. Ross and Terry are at the grocery store. Terry has a picture list clipped to his belt. Popcorn in the basket. Ross has reward stickers on a binder. Think about who the person is who needs the visual support. Use this schedule for someone who can read. A sheet of paper contains a list of words reading, swimming, McDonald's, car, home. Use this schedule for someone who can tell time and needs pictures. At the top of a piece of cardboard is a smaller piece of cardboard reading Saturday with a picture of a smiling face. Underneath that, five rectangles are drawn on the cardboard one after the other. Each rectangle contains two pieces of Velcro, one on the left and one on the right. In the top rectangle, a piece of cardboard reading 730 with a picture of a clock face showing 730 is stuck on the left-hand piece of Velcro, and a piece of cardboard reading AM with a picture of a sunrise is stuck on the right-hand piece of Velcro. In the second rectangle, a piece of cardboard reading 10 o'clock with a picture of a clock face showing 10 o'clock is stuck on the left-hand piece of Velcro, and a piece of cardboard reading sledding with a picture of a boy on a sled is stuck on the right-hand piece of Velcro. In the third rectangle, a piece of cardboard reading one o'clock with a picture of a clock face showing one o'clock is stuck on the left-hand piece of Velcro, and a piece of cardboard reading Burger King with the Burger King logo on it is stuck on the right-hand piece of Velcro. Use this schedule for someone who can't read or tell time. A piece of cardboard has a long strip of Velcro down the middle from top to bottom. 
Four cardboard squares, each with a drawing, are stuck to the Velcro. From top to bottom, the drawings are breakfast, laundry, car, and park. Don't use lots of pictures you don't need. It can be confusing. Which choice board is easier to use? A piece of cardboard with two Velcro strips on it. Stuck onto the Velcro are four pictures captioned Burger King, Bike, Computer, and Swimming. The same piece of cardboard with Velcro strips now has 10 pictures on it, packed tightly together. There are lots of ways to make visual supports. A camera, sticker paper, cardboard, and Velcro are a great place to start. A package of Avery full sheet labels, a piece of cardboard, a roll of Velcro, and a smartphone. A grocery store flyer is an easy, cheap way to find pictures. A circular for market basket showing pictures of different food items. There are software programs to make visual supports. Two popular programs are Board Maker and Symbol Sticks. Logos for Board Maker and Symbol Sticks. There are communication system apps for the iPhone and iPad that show pictures that speak when touched and allow you to use your own pictures. Some apps recommended by Children's Hospital are Pro Low Quo To Go, Tap Speak, Touch Chat, My Talk, and Sounding Board. Logos for Pro Low Quo To Go, Tap Speak, Touch Chat, My Talk, and sounding board. There are small machines that are made to be communication systems. Some have pictures that speak when touched. You can also use your own pictures. Others speak the words a person types. Some examples are Springboard, Vantage, Dynavox, Palm Top, iChat, and Lightwriter. To summarize, people with autism can use visual supports to ask for something, say how they feel, know what to expect, or know how to do something. And they can help people with autism have choices, stay calm when things change, learn new skills, and become more independent. So let's put it all together and see what it looks like. Terry makes dough for dog treats. Terry picks a picture of pork rinds. Hey, what do you want to work for? Hey, look, we can put it right there. First, we're going to do treats and Terry pizza. puts it on a first then no, board. Pork rinds. Let's go to the kitchen. Chef Terry. Terry is in the kitchen. What you got cooking today? What's going on, man? A picture recipe, a marker, and cooking tools are on a counter. Ross and Terry look at a picture of a hairnet in the recipe. Terry gets a hairnet and puts it on. Ross shows Terry a picture of gloves in the recipe. Terry puts on food prep gloves. Ross puts a sticker on a reward chart. Ross shows Terry a picture of flour in the recipe. Terry finds the flour. Terry checks flour off on the recipe.
there's the baking powder. Terry measures two teaspoons of baking powder. Terry lifts the mixing bowl and turns on the mixer. We're done. Nice job. What do we get? Pork rinds. Sorry, you want to sit in your chair or beanbag? Terry has finished his work. He points to the picture of pork rinds and gets a bowl of pork rinds. Learning about visual supports. Producer, Katherine Boyle. Illustrations by Janet Amarello. Videographer, Zine Rashidi. Voiceover, Cheryl Ryan Chan. Visual supports consultant, Marie Duggan. ELL teacher, Marisol Corheger. Autism Housing Pathways, Building Roads to Home. Copyright 2014, Autism Housing Pathways, Incorporated. Logo of Autism Housing Pathways. A house with a puzzle piece ribbon.